Hey guys, this is Chandra. Welcome back to our channel, Chandra Alson. In this today's topic, we will learn about how to design a, how to get the desired shape by using the HTML files. As we already know that uh, we can't uh, edit or do any operations to the HTML files in CAD softwares, except some CAD softwares. In that too, we have to do work with a mesh. But uh, in Onshape, we don't have any mesh software and also many other software also don't have. But uh, if you are instructed to want to extract the shape from the STL file, I found a process uh, and it is very direct and it does not involve any um, extrude or basic operations. Okay. So, and I am saying again. Uh, this uh, approach will work only for regular shapes and will and will not work with the uh, irregular shapes because uh, here we are working with the uh, inbuilt tools in with 3d lines tools that is called uh, in our shape we can call it as a uh, 3d spline and in other parts softwares we call it as 3d line so we are going to perform get the desired shape of STL files using 3D spline and surfaces. So here I am going to perform with the sample file of star. This is an STL file guys. Uh, if you have doubt, you can see you, I can't perform any operations on this. Except selecting, I can't do anything. So to, if you want, we can't even perform any actions if you want to make the step file I have a process called um, process uh, in this okay I will explain it now and uh, so let's begin the tutorial the first point is guys we can't do any actions on the HTML files but we can able to point out the vertices of the parts like you can see I can able to trace the vertices of the parts just by clicking it so let's use this vertices how to work with them uh, first of all we want to know about 3d fit spline the spline is also works as a spline guess but here we can perform in three dimensions so it can make the lines by just tracing the points okay uh, and okay just like works as a spline so let me show you here we need what we are working with vertices and here I'm going to point out the center right so I'm clicking this vertex and this vertex and by to get the straight line we can can add two points are enough to get the straight line so I just two points and make it as done and I'm going to use the another uh, 3 spline I'm just going to make the edges as like this to get the shape. See, I'm just only tracing the uh, vertices. What I what it's showing. Uh, uh, in the STL file. Okay, uh, I'm just taking time. Let me and see. Uh, we can uh, successfully uh, made some faces just by using the uh, 3d splines we get a 3d shape here so if you want to make i know we can't perform any extra operation because this is a 3d line but you can make it as a surface let's for example now we are going to use the fill tool here in the surface tools we got fill the fill tool is basically used to fill the gaps of a part and it should be closed then only it can fill operation will work and see when i click on the three edges it is a closed region so when i click on it okay then it form a surface so as just like that just perform this fill operation again to it and do the new new surface because it's not going to connect because of uh, over reading okay now click on okay <clears throat> now if you we did the, this 
uh, with this uh, with with this this traces and if you want to pattern this we get this shape okay let me hide it and get the traces what we have found shown here now i'm going to sell the front pane i try center axis to me to do the revolve uh, circle pattern then that's enough now okay now select the cir circular pattern here click on the parts and do act select the axis as in this middle line and give number count to five edit this number count two and see we already got the uh, star shape just by using this very simple way and if say still a surface we need a solid so to make the solid just use again use the same free tool uh, select the all edges where it get, get the closed region and when we close this you see it already filled the uh, other side face which we Selected the regions and it turns into a solid gas. If you still have a doubt, you can I can show you by selecting this section view. You can see this is this is a solid and not a surface. You can clearly understand that. Observe that, right? So in this way you can perform the you can get the shapes of STL files by using 3D spline. And make into step file it is it's, uh, i can say that it is a long process but it might be useful for in some conditions where you are not able to find any other solution so uh, uh, if you i want to complete this one i'm going to just mirror the part sell the plane and then okay and i got successfully created the star shape and it is a stuck file now you can perform any operations here just like plates See? just like villages, campers, anything you can perform or else you can do extrude operation also. See? That's all about today's topic guys. I hope you might understand this topic and also gives you some important point to make to work with the HTL files in on cat software and you can perform in this, this approach in other software also uh, in future i'm going to i will also try to expand in the uh, fusion 3 also uh, as for this i done this thanks for watching guys have a nice day if you really like my content please do like share and subscribe to our channel Thank you.